brothers and sisters, Trinity de Guzman coming at you right now from the incredible jungles of Peru. I just finished an ayahuasca retreat and I'm just so inspired to share my experience with you, with the world, because I've never seen anything help so many people so deeply and never had my life so just transformed and changed by this than by this medicine. For me, I've been sitting with this medicine for over a year now, and I've been sitting with this medicine almost weekly, and I live in Peru right now, and I've been living in Peru for almost a year, and the reason I live in Peru is for the medicine of ayahuasca, because like I said, I've never experienced anything that's helped me so much. Like, it's helped me get rid of so many patterns, so many ways of being, so many limiting beliefs, so many blocks energetically inside of me. You know, in the retreat that I just had, the most powerful experience that I had, or the, the best way that I can describe it with words, you know, it's all, it's all just words because it's nowhere even close to the actual experience, but I can talk about it and, you know, do my best to explain it. But in my retreat that I just had, it was like I saw so much about the self-sabotage layers that I've had that have kept me stuck or kept me playing small and really just stopped me from creating or achieving what's most important to me in my life. And like in so many different ways, whether it's with relationships, that's a huge one, you know, in relationships and like I saw like all this judgment that I have, not only towards myself, but towards maybe my partner, you know, and I'm, it's, I'm really just being as humble as I can, being as real and authentic as I can about, you know, my problems and the shit that I uncovered. Because, you know, that's really where I believe that I can help the people the most is through my vulnerability and sharing what's real for me. You know, I've grown up with a lot of judgment from my parents and always being told that I can be better. And with, and like specifically my dad. And so no matter what I did, you know, it's like maybe seven A's and one B. It's like, why didn't you get straight A's? You know, it's like, why aren't you bigger or faster or stronger? You need to be more masculine. Like all, like we hear all these different things as children when we're just these little babies, these molds, you know, and our parents didn't know better. It's not their fault. But it's up to us now as conscious individuals, I truly believe, to cut these cords and do this inner work so that we don't pass them on to our children, to the next generation, and so that we can create this new earth, this new reality, this new world where love and connection, where truth of presence and knowing who we really are is the norm. You know, and so I saw where all this judgment that I have towards other people, that I've had towards other people and that I have towards myself, where this all came from, you know, a lot of child, inner child work and healing and was able to clear a lot of it. And, oh my God, there's so much. I've been sitting with this medicine for over a year now. And there's so many different things that have, that it's allowed me to heal. And to sum it up, it's like, I'm creating at higher degrees and higher capacity with less effort than I've ever, ever had to exert. And more importantly than that, is it's really connected me with purpose with my divine purpose here in the world. And I'll share with you now, that's really just to help in the awakening of human beings. And that's why I'm making this video. That's why I'm doing everything I'm doing to share this medicine, because I've never seen a greater tool for awakening than ayahuasca, madre ayahuasca, mother. They call her mother ayahuasca in the jungle because, you know, she's like a mother. She gives you exactly what you need. She's so nurturing and tender and soft at times, yet she can be really hard if she needs to be. 
And so I've been shown by the medicine that, you know, like I said with you, it's like my vulnerability and my authentic sharing is what's going to really connect with people most. And I know that. And that's because the medicine's shown me that to share the medicine and share her, that I'm here to interview people all over the world. And that's another reason why I live in Peru is to, you know, interview the people who come to Peru, countless people every day. You know, it's been said that a couple hundred thousand people last year came to Peru to experience ayahuasca. And there's a reason, you know, just like yoga and meditation, it's coming into the world to bring us back to our truth, to remind us of who we really are. And we're ready for it, you know. And now it's time for, and I really believe it's like, I believe we're, we as a race are ready for awakening, but individually you have to check in with yourself. Like, is ayahuasca for you? You check in with yourself. And that's the only way that you'll know. And so I've been making these ayahuasca interview series and I've made a link to that somewhere below this video and just check it out. Check out these interviews, hear from other people around the world, sitting with this medicine, having their lives change. And yeah, check out our site, ayahuascahealings.com. Stick around a bit. It's a resource just for anybody who's called ayahuasca. There's a documentary there that you can find. It'll be like on the homepage or something. And yeah, it's just a resource, whether you're new to ayahuasca or you've been sitting with the medicine for a while, just it's there for you. I've also saw in my retreat that I'm here to create a forum so people from around the world can talk about the medicine and their experience with the medicine. And so hopefully by the time you get to the site, the forum's already there. If not, it'll be there soon. But thank you so much for feeling the call to ayahuasca, for watching this video, which clearly tells me that you do. And with that all being said, I bless you. Send so much love on your path and really thank you so much for being on the path that you're on. The world really does need more people like you doing this inner work. And I thank you so much, truly. <laughs>